What did you have in the bottle? Was it was it vodka? Yeah. Hi. Stay in. No, stay in. Hey. Mr. Ferguson? Yeah. I'm Officer Brink with Medina Police Department. Were you able to talk to me for a little bit? Sure. Okay. Um, I had some questions. Okay. Okay. About uh, uh, incident that was brought to our attention with okay. the, uh, the bus scratch. Mm-hmm. Okay. Before we, uh, I just want to make sure that you're aware of your rights before we I start talking. Okay. Okay. So you have the right to be silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in court. Have the right to talk to an attorney. Have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning, if you wish. And you can decide at any time to not answer any questions or make any statements. Okay. You understand those? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just so. Are you arresting me today? No. Okay. No, I want to talk. I'm, there was an incident brought to our attention. Okay. Okay. I'm assuming you probably have an idea what I'm talking about. Sure. Um, I think it was the 15th of November. Does that sound familiar? It does. Okay. Do you want to tell me a little bit about that day and what happened? or? Uh, I really don't have anything to say about it. I resigned. Okay. Well... Again, the, the matter's been passed over to us, so now we have to, you know, do our due diligence in looking okay. into this. All right. Um, I, I, I know, I understand that you, you tested positive for alcohol during a random drug test. Correct. Um, when were you drinking that day? After my route. After your route? Mm-hmm. Weren't you, t you were tested though after you were out? Yeah, but you, t I mean, I had to go in. Um, you go by Ross or? Yeah. Herb, okay, Ross. I want to, I, I want to make this as easy as possible. Okay. I know this isn't a good situation for you. No. Okay. I understand that, you know, you had to resign from your job and now there's all this going on. Okay. The more honest you are with me, the better this can go. Okay. You were at a point one, three, four when you came off the bus and went inside and we were advised you had to do a test. There really, there wasn't any time between you getting off the bus, going into the office and being advised that you had to take the test that you would have had anything to drink. Correct. I, I don't know what to say here. Well, I, I just... I, if I admit to something, I mean, you've already got the proof. Right. I mean, so what's going to happen to me? Well, th this is all going to go to the prosecutor's office. Mm -hmm. Okay? We, we don't have a choice in this matter. I mean, it's they're making fairly big accusations towards you. But I just want you, like I said, you being honest, your honesty... And all this will help if you try to, if you, you know, start, if you deny that you were drinking or you come up with some elaborate story, it's going to get drawn out and turn into much more. Okay. So I'm not asking you to tell me anything fabricated. I would, I, I just, I'm asking for your honesty. Okay. So I guess my question is because. I, they showed us the video from the bus. You understand there's video on the bus, right? Mm -hmm. You're drinking out of the Powerade bottle. Okay. You got an orange Powerade. Mm -hmm. 
What else was in the Orange Powerade? No, there was nothing else in the Powerade. Okay. So did you drink, consume alcohol before you I was up late the work? night before, yeah. Okay. How late would you say you were up? Hmm. I don't know. 3 a.m.? Okay. Were you drinking all night and then... Because you got, you got to work at like 6, 15-ish, right? Or so? Or I think yeah. I saw you walk in the door at like 6, 13. Yeah, somewhere in there. Okay. So you were up... How, what were we doing the night before? Or what was the situation? Just staying up late, watching movie. Okay. Were you drinking then? Yes. What were you drinking? Uh, wine. Okay. How much would you say you had? Quite a bit, or...? I guess so. Okay. When you woke up in the morning and went to work, do you feel like you were... safe and capable of operating a Yes. I should school have been, but I didn't feel out of sorts. Okay. Do you drink often? Yes. Okay. Would you say daily, or...? Yeah, probably daily. Okay. So, I mean, at a one, three, four, whatever your initial test was, you that's, would you say that's kind of... I don't know, I've never been tested. Normal for you? Okay. Um, what, uh, so when you went, you went to bed at three, got a couple hours of sleep, woke up to come into work. Correct. And then... Got to the bus, you were there about 6 13. Correct. And you had nothing from the time you woke up? No. No. To the time. I, back, I backed out at 6 45 and did my route, came in. What was the reason? I know you at one point diverted from Claggett to the high school. They said that was unusual, that you're, you normally would have to radio in that you, instead of I, sitting at Claggett, I always yeah. sit at the high school. Do you normally radio that you're going over to the high school to sit? No, I've been driving that route for three years, and I do my labor at the high school. Okay. Are you supposed to, or is that kind of the policy, or...? I don't know. I mean, they know I'm there. No one ever okay. said anything to me. Okay. It says on the route sheet to lay over at Claggett, but I never do. Okay. I didn't know. They brought that to our attention, that they thought it was no, strange. There's just... Well, it's not. I mean, I, I do it every day. Okay. And then I go get the elementary kids and take them to school, then go to St. Francis, and then come back. Okay. Um, and again, what, what was in the power bottle? That Nothing. It just, it, uh, here's, here's my only question why, okay? And again, I want you to be honest, okay? I've been doing this for 15 years. When you consume alcohol, your blood alcohol level increases, right? Okay, it steadily goes up. Okay. When you stop drinking, at a certain point, it's going to start decreasing as your body metabolizes the alcohol. Okay? So you're going to go up to a certain point, and then it's going to start coming down. Your first test was 134. The test you took 15 minutes later was 138, which obviously tells me it was climbing. Okay. So if you went to bed at 3... While you were sleeping, and when you came into work, it should have been declining. Okay. So the the results of your blood alcohol one, test, your breath test, zero, six, nine, would tell me that seven, you are zero, consuming six, alcohol nine, drive, either on your way to work six, or while you're on the bus. Here's the deal. You're not going to get in any extra trouble if you tell me and be honest that you were drinking on the bus. What's going to happen to me? Well, you could be looking at a couple different things. Okay. Okay? That's going to be up for the prosecutor's office to decide. Okay. Okay? You could potentially be looking at an OVI for operating a bus or a vehicle under the influence. Okay? Okay. There's, I mean, however you try to spin this whole thing, I mean, it, it's kind of, that's that's there. That's what it is. I mean, you were driving the bus that morning. Immediately after you 
tested positive for alcohol. Correct. So there's no question that. The other thing could be a, a charge of child endangering okay. for operating a vehicle under the influence while you had children on the bus. Okay. Okay. So I guess my, my, my biggest thing and come out and want to talk to you is those, I don't want to say those things are indisputable. Okay. You have a right like everyone else to go to court and contest this. Okay. My reason coming here is I just, I want you to be honest and kind of, we have all these pieces here. I want you to kind of help me fill them in. Okay. Nothing, the charges are indisputable to a extent that it is what it is. I, I hate to put it that bluntly, you know, but you had alcohol in your system, you operated the bus, you had kids on the bus. I mean, if, if we want, if, if we were going to be tacky and I wanted to, when I'm asking about the pirate bottle, if I wanted to tack on a open container, that's, that's nothing. Okay. We're not, I'm not looking to do that. I'm not looking to screw you over. I just want you to be honest because your numbers are going up. Again, I've been doing this long enough. I understand, but what, what's going to happen to me? That, I, I wish I could tell you. Do I have to go to jail? Um, there, it, it depends what the process, what the prosecutor's office comes up with. If they decide to charge you, okay, okay, it could be something where you could, they may let you or be released on an OR bond, which is a, your own recognizance, meaning that you're basically signing a piece of paper saying that I will show up for court. Okay. It could be a bond release where you or somebody else has to pay to have you out. And then you'll be given a court date. Okay. Whether you're going to jail, I don't know at this point. I'm not here right now. Well, you said you have experience. I mean, what do you usually see in these cases? I'll be honest. When it goes to court or when it goes over to the prosecutor's office, it's always different. Okay? You don't have a history of OVIs. I know you say you drink yeah. frequently or whatever, however you want to put it. But you don't have OVIs. Again, it's not a... I don't know what was going on that day, if you were having a bad day or an extra, what happened, okay? That's, you know, if you want to fill me on that, that's that's up to you. I'm not going to poke and pride for why you did what you did that day, okay? okay? But again, I, do, I think the, personally, the more honest you are, again, goes a long way in the court's eyes. Okay, if you, the people that want to continue to lie in, in the eyes of, you know, all this stuff we have, all this evidence we already have, I mean, it's not like I'm just coming to you and saying, hey, I think you were drinking that day, you know, I mean, we know that was the case. Correct. So when, do I get a notice in the mail where you guys come back and arrest me again? Um, we would... If the prosecutor's office came back, somebody would either come out here or we'd call you and have you come in. I mean, like I said, what you're looking at, possibly, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say it's it's okay, it's nothing, okay. but it's not the end of the world, okay? You made a huge mistake. It will probably be the end of mine. What's that? This coming out. End of what? My marriage, everything. What does... You're currently married? Yes. What does she know about this? Or you're she knows resigning? nothing about it. Does she know you resigned? She knows I resigned. Okay. Well, again, I... Trust me. There's no easy way to deal with this like I wish I could tell you that it's going to be all nothing but I mean again whatever you had going on that day you put yourself in a really bad spot okay. I mean you, you, I mean I, I don't need to explain to you that 
consuming alcohol and driving a busload of children around is, Correct. I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not going to lecture you or anything on that. I mean, okay. what did you have in the bottle? Was it, was it vodka? Yeah. Okay. I, I appreciate that. I mean, I appreciate being honest. Do you want to, do you want to write out a statement at all? about anything that happened that it's putting it, it would be putting your side down on paper what it's going to do for you i mean again i don't i don't know when you would have a court date but if it helps you jog your memory or what have you i mean i i have to give you the option to write a statement okay i don't know what that would do for me if well, that would help or hurt me. I don't know. I mean, you have the evidence. I mean, it's, we do. it's I cut know. and dry. I know. And, yeah, I, I, I can't tell you whether it's going to hurt or help. But, you know, if you, I'm just, I'm offering you the opportunity if you wanted to. I can't do it right now. Okay. Obviously, you can see I'm sweating and nervous. So. I, I, I understand. I, I I don't treat this lightly because I can only imagine I'm here doing my job. I, I can only imagine what you're what you're going through. Okay. Who else lives here with you? My wife. Just your wife? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have kids? Yes. Okay. Um Is your wife home now or is she gone? No, she's out of town. Okay. I just want to make sure that um I would let you handle that how you want to. Um, okay. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Did, did you ever had any, any disciplinary action before with, no. with them? No. What's, uh, how long, I understood you had, like, you worked with, for the bus for Medina and then you took a break and came back? Correct. When did you start working there? I don't remember the year. Uh, the COVID year, whatever that was. Like 2019? I think it started in 19. Okay. And then when did you take a break? Uh, last year, maybe September, I left for another job and it didn't work out, so I came back. Okay. Okay. Um, that, do you want to tell me what what was going on as far as and that just I mean was it it seems unusual I know you said you, drink a lot. you normally drink in the mornings no no not normally was there something big going on I, that I day you remember I, no. no or any reason why why you would have started drinking early in the morning no have you done that before no okay again not going to change anything yeah I know I'm not going to charge you with multiple things. I'm just I asking. There's, okay. No, I don't. I don't. Was anything out of you know real different or anything? Okay. It's just something I was doing, and I don't know. I can't tell you exactly why. Okay. Um, all right. Do you want to just hang out here? Let me make sure there's nothing else I need right now. Okay. Okay. Let me. Let me make a phone call, make sure there's we're good, and then hopefully I can tell you more where this is, what's going to happen. Okay. Okay. Because um, I don't want I don't want to leave you here in the dark. I don't want you to worry about what's going to happen. Okay. <laughs> well, so. Not change. Well, I'm going to try and give you as much information as I can. Okay. Okay. Um, do you just want to have a seat here and I'll just be back with you? Do you want to put shoes on or something? Or? Can I get a coat? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And you do not want to write a statement? I don't think I can do it right now. Do you want me to leave one with you just in case? You can do that. Okay. Because right now I'm, you know... I, I I get it. I like I said. I'm not I'm not going to sugarcoat it and say 
you know, we can both agree you, it was a stupid mistake that day. Very dumb. Do I think you're a bad person? No. You know, you made a very questionable decision that thankfully and luckily did not end right. you know, in you getting in an accident or something or somebody getting hurt and then this, then that would be bad. Okay? Right. Like I said, as far as I know, what I've been told, they were looking at the OVI the, and the child endangering. Okay? So those aren't things that are going to get you sent away for, you know, or having a, a long term of jail time. But to tell you, for me to sit here right now and tell you how that's going to play out, I can't. I mean, I would, I'd like to, get, like I said, I'll try and give you all the information I can, but I can't promise you how things are going to work out because they're always different. Okay. And you not having history too, I guess in some way could benefit because I've never been in trouble before. Well, that's what I said. If you were, if it was a, if you've had multiple OVIs or something to that effect or disciplinary issues, it, you know, that's going to change the way the court perceives what happens. Um, but, Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Did you, uh, do you mind if I ask what, what kind of vodka you had you with you? Do you know. remember? No. Or if it was like, like proof wise or, I don't know if you typically drink something. Go ahead. Okay. Um. I didn't know if you typically consume one kind of drink or whatever, what not, or, okay. Um, I guess another unit's stopping by, but I'll make a phone call and then let you know what's going on. Okay, you're coming to get me now? No, okay. I'm going to make a phone call. Okay. Well, you said another unit. No, I said another unit Stop. That's what they just told me for some reason. I don't know if it's Westfield or the SO, but no, I'm, I'm going to try not to surprise you with anything. Like I said, I'll let you know. I'll let you know where we're leaving this day and how we're going to handle it from here. And then, and then, you know, like I said, I can't help you with explaining it to your wife, but have you had, I mean, have you would you consider it a problem? I know you say you drink frequently. Is it? Is it? I do. She's mentioned it before, and she's forbid me to drink any vodka. Okay. And I don't know why I was doing that that day, um, but this will put her over the edge. Well, I. You know, we were selling our house and retiring to Florida, and that's going to be gone. <coughs> My own fault. Hi. Hi. We're looking for Herbert. He's on the phone. Okay. Um, okay. Is he inside? Can we come in? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, come on in. Are you his Stay. wife? Uh -huh. okay. Hi. So what happens when I get to the jail? As far as... I've never been in trouble before. Okay. I, um... I mean, we'll get there. There'll be a deputy. He'll check you again and essentially get you booked in the jail and they'll have like a body scanner that you'll scan through and from there I, I likely you'll sit in there's a booking area for the time being until if 
they have somewhere more specific for you to go, I would imagine. But like I said, that's all with the, the sheriff's deputies and let's go this way. Not all too familiar with that process of it. Raven said to take him to the PD because the. What's up? PD first. Yeah, PD first to get to the return because the jail has weird returns, not ours. Right. And she said three copies or whatever. So. 